Mm, not really. Nope. Now you're talking. Now then, unless you have a head of hair like mine, you probably carry a comb around with you. Um, I don't tend to do so now. <laughs> I don't really have the hair for it, to be honest with you. But um, recently I have been uh, thinking about purchasing a tactical comb of one description or another. Um, I've seen several designs about. Um, there are some expensive designs and some cheaper designs. Uh, some of the cheaper designs I've seen on the Chinese uh, websites and I've not really been that keen on the uh, this style of um, tactical comb. Uh, they don't really look, well they're alright I suppose, but they don't really look all that good. Uh, and then a couple of weeks ago I was browsing Fast Tech when I came across this little beauty. How nice is this? I quite like this design, this is very nicely made. As you can see, you can also get it in um, black with the uh, blue highlights, but I preferred this uh, nice um, silver finish. It's um, actually a very nice stone wash finish to it. I think the black one is a black wash with blue highlights. But um, yeah, this is quite nice, this is actually. Let's take a closer look at it, shall we guys? Okay, so hopefully you can see that nice stone wash going on here. Uh, I do like these gold highlights, this is very nice. And you've got this, uh, these lines running all the way along. Got a little bit of, um, I guess you could call that jimping just there. And a nice finger ring here. Pop your finger into. Um, the little uh, teeth are quite nicely made. It's very strong actually, guys. It's a very strong thing. Um, it's the same on the other side. Exactly the same design. Very nice indeed. I like that. Uh, so, you know, as soon as I saw it on Fast Tech, I thought, yep, I'm going to have to get this. Let's check out a few dimensions then. Um, the overall length, you're looking at 130 millimeters long, and I measured all these dimensions myself, guys. Um, the body is 35, 30 mil here, 30 mil here, and it is actually 32.5 millimeters just here. Ring diameter is 21.1 millimeters, and stock thickness is a 2.3 millimeters. Uh, the material used is apparently 420 stainless. It is extremely well made, very high quality. I'm not sure whether it's um, a stainless steel casting or whether it's been machined out. I, I really don't know, to be honest with you guys. There's no sign of any um, casting marks on it at all, or stampings, or how, however it was made. I really don't know. But the quality is very good quality, actually, guys. You can feel the weight in it. How, how heavy is this thing, actually? Pop it on the scales. And we're looking at ounce and three quarters, or 47 grams. I really do like this design. As I say, you can get it in black with blue highlights, but I much prefer this uh, stonewash stainless finish with the little gold highlights. Um, there aren't any sharp edges on this little fellow at all, anywhere. And so you can get your little finger in there like so. So you could hold it like this. Got a nice sharp point just there. Um, it's quite comfortable to hold. Funnily enough, as I say, you can hold it quite comfortably, even on the uh, the teeth here. The little teeth, which actually, I don't know if you can hear that, but they ring quite nicely. It's a very solid lump of 420 stainless. Quite comfortable to hold. The fit and finish on it is very nice indeed. There, are, As I say, there are no sharp edges to it whatsoever, so you won't cut yourself with it. Um, I've tried combing my hair with it, but I say I've not really got a great deal of hair to comb with it, to be honest with you guys. But um, it's quite nice. I mean, if you want to uh, swing it around on your finger, you can, oops, you can do so, as long as you don't hit the camera. I purchased this one from Fast Tech. Uh, I think it cost me around about five pounds thereabouts. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pop the price, the current price, up here for you. Uh, but prices are subject to change, so there's going to be a link to this little fellow in the descriptive text down below. Click on that text, uh, and on that link, sorry, and um, you, you can see the price and availability in your country and, of course, at the time you're watching. A very nice design this is. I do like it a lot. So there's no sharp edges to it. 
Um, the finish, very nice, very nice finish, nice stone wash, which is something I like, as you probably know. If you see enough of my knife reviews, you'll know that I like stone wash or black wash as well. I like that too. But this little fellow is very nice indeed. Quite comfortable to hold. You know, uh, whether you could actually defend yourself with such a, a thing, I don't know, maybe. It's a la very last resort, so you've got a nice little point going on here for that sort of thing. And so you can put your finger through the little ring there so you don't drop it. You could also uh, probably, you know, dot somebody with that, possibly. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice chunk of material. Very solid. Um, I haven't been able to bend it yet. So it's quite solid. It should, if you kept it in your back pocket, I don't think sitting on it would bend it too easily. And it's certainly a lot better than the... Uh, plastic combs you can get certainly a lot more stylish as I'm sure you will agree this is one of the better looking um, tactical combs in my opinion if you're looking for one um, I'll, I'll leave you a link in the descriptive text below uh, to fast tech and the uh, product page um, go along and look at it see what you think guys you know uh, I say it does come in black as well with the blue highlights but uh, I much prefer this this particular finish Nice solid chunk of 420 stainless steel for you. Very nice design. Uh, one of the best ones I've seen. As I say, I've been thinking about for some years now about getting one. Um, there's one out there by EDC Gear. Um, not all that impressed with the design at all. It's a bit bland compared with this one. This is much nicer. I do like this one. So if you're looking for a uh, nice tactical comb, see what you think of this one, guys. Okay, so uh, leave us a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the uh, knife. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the comb. Um, yeah, this is uh, one of the nicest ones I've seen so far. You can get a few folding ones. Um, there's some quite uh, some really high quality uh, um, manufacturers make them. Um, there's also one on the uh, Fast Tech, I believe. That's a nice folding comb. Not sure whether to get that one or not. But this one, yeah, I do definitely like this one, guys. Definitely. Very nice indeed. But then again, you know I like my gadgets and gizmos. So, um, yeah, very nice. Let us know what you think. Um, and I'll catch you back here at Rathbone Manor then, in the very near future. Laters!